Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. All right, who's driving? You or me? Hello. Vance was so excited to get started on tearing this truck apart, we jumped into it pretty quickly and on a day that our friend Dennis was with us. Dennis is, uh, it's a long story, he's basically like an exchange student here from China that spent some time with us and um, Dennis doesn't have as much experience with tools as Vance does, but he was anxious to uh, be a part of this as well. Can I take this off? Yeah. Yeah. What the? If you try it. Yeah, here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Nice. The roll up door on the back of the truck is broken and I don't want to take it off until I'm ready to start building the new door I'm going to make for it. So uh, I just have to use the slots that are there to get stuff in and out right now. I want to see. Now see some of this, I will save because I can use it for making templates and fixing stuff around the shop. It's still good. Yeah. After gutting the walls, we started looking for the best way to pop out some of the rivets that are holding the ceiling in place. And uh, we found that just a pair of bullnose pliers worked pretty well to yank them out. Um, so, so what you do is you take off the top of the bullnose pliers. Yeah, you just kind of, I don't even think you need to do the first step. You just need to grab them with these pliers and they pull right out. Nice. I had the boys leave the truck while I pulled out the insulation because I didn't want to expose them to that fiberglass unnecessarily. It's in pretty good condition and I might be able to use it again. I want to remove part of the front wall of the truck and I had to pop some rivets out there. I found a better way, I think, to get them. channels here and there's some bolts that we're holding it in so I want to take this out I want to take this whole wall out and I want to make this seat something that I can take in and out easily uh, which it's already set up to do but it's it's like frozen in here I found the reason I couldn't get the seat out it's not that it was rusted in there's this bolt that's still half shoved in there I got to free up I'm going to leave this up because I'm probably going to build a cabinet here into that. This is cool. This feels a lot bigger in here already. You can see this is what the corners are supposed to look like. And there's a nice straight roof. But the roof line on this side it's been compromised a little bit. It's dented down and it kinked these just a tiny bit. So I have to very carefully try to bend that back out without you know, running the risk of losing his waterproof. Uh, it's not bad. It's not too, too noticeable when the ceiling's in. I could possibly even make it not noticeable at all, but while I'm taking it apart, I might as well try and bend that out a little bit. Someone didn't read that low bridge sign. I ran down the street to Home Depot to buy some 2x4s that I'm going to use to help me straighten out the roof. 
I work with mostly reclaimed materials, so it's not often that I buy lumber there, but I do find myself in stores like that quite a bit for hardware and other little miscellaneous things, like the scrub brush I bought to clean the floor. I cut the 2x4s to so just a little bit higher than the ceiling height of the truck, and I used a 3 pound persuader to sort of bang them into specific locations so I could slowly use them as wedges and force the roof up. night and I'm banging out this roof. I want to bring it up an inch and I noticed this water starting to come down. So water was pooling up there on the roof and as I bang it it's working and it's straightening out and coming off. As long as that stays straight, we're okay. So anything I can do up top to just improve it is good. And I just don't want to mess up that seam. And uh, that, that was straight when I bought the truck, which is why I wasn't concerned about it. It looks a lot better in here. You can see that there's some spots I need to, you know, do some, some structural work couple of these cracked a little bit so I might try to brace them but I'll do something to fix those up and I can see that the I gotta do a little work right here but I think I'm just about done it looks pretty even I'm only about a quarter inch off in a couple spots and uh, most importantly and the reason I'm glad that it rained last night is that there's water on the roof it's dripping down the truck and there's none in here so I know that there's no leaks because of this that makes my life a lot easier <laughs> the DMV today to register the truck. I expected to have to go do an inspection and uh, VIN verifications and all that stuff, but they gave me a plate right away, which I thought was really cool. So I'm all done and ready to go. But I wanted to get a vanity plate for this truck, um, kind of like I have the iMake plate on my truck. Uh, the other plate for the iMake Car Club is called Maker, and Tom Bache of Infinite Craftsman has that, so I can't get that one. I'm not quite sure what to do yet. My truck is going to have all the branding for the guitar business all over it, so it doesn't need to say anything about that, but I wanted to have something that was like a sort of nice accoutrement to the New Perspectives music stuff that will be all over it. Um, six letters, I'm open to suggestions, go. I bought uh, on eBay just this very inexpensive uh, little monitor screen. It's pretty cool, I just got it up and running here. You can see I have this screen right where my rear view mirror would be that gives me a rear view of my truck. I have this nice little camera right there. But I still need to get the truck down to my friend Eric's shop so I can have him go through and give a good safety inspection and check everything out. And then of course I have to do the entire build out as well. Uh, I have so many ideas, like I said before, um, that I'm trying to narrow it down to what's going to be the best and the most efficient use of the space but still be cool. And hopefully by the next video installment I should have a plan that I can share with you because I'm pretty close now to what I think is going to be the final interior design. The exterior I have a lot of ideas still too and I'd love to hear what you think. Vance is all up in my grill to go for a ride. Yeah. You already buckled up with your lap belt and everything, huh? So let's, uh, I haven't driven it since I test drove it when I bought it. So and now we have a license plate and everything, so mm. we're gonna drive it. So I'll take a quick little run around town. <laughs>
This thing is awesome. 